The conservation games continue to trek through the Zambezia region. It is match number 26, and we are joined once again by two very special guests today. We've got two cricketing guests. We'll start off with uh, the man furthest away from us, Gary Balance, of course, Zimbabwean-born, schooled at uh, Peterhouse, played a little bit of cricket for uh, Derbyshire and then moved on to uh, Yorkshire, represented the uh, three Lions of England. Gary, it has been a while, but really good to see you and nice of you to join us. Hi, right, Tina. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thanks for um, getting us involved in this and um, really excited for, for match number one, yeah. So you are representing the Lions today, is that right? Yes, that's right. I do believe, though, that uh, behind the scenes, you've donated a shirt to Team Buffaloes, who you're playing against today. So we won't go into the nitty gritties of that. Hopefully, uh, you can make sure that you get the points for the Lions. But anyway, Langton Rosere is the one who is representing the Buffaloes today. Zimbabwe's uh, most experienced international panel umpire at the moment. Langton has, uh, of course, officiated at the Under-19 World Cup. He's done uh, the Caribbean Premier League final a couple of times. The ladies, uh, World Cup final. Langton, you look very smart. Nice of you to be with us. Uh, thanks, Dino. Uh, this is uh, quite a good initiative by uh, Robin and Luke, and I'm, I'm quite happy to be part of this. And, uh, and I've seen it take off, and I'm proud of what they're doing. Right. So, um, I'm looking uh, forward to what they're doing. Let's move on to uh, the toss. Langton, I know you conduct a lot of tosses in your day-to-day -day work, so I'll give you the option today of the toss. Speed in my <laughs> left or right hand? Um... I will go with your left hand. I think too many people are watching me on this. You've got it right. It's in my left hand and the choice is yours. Are you going to ask or be asked first? I will ask first. Okay. You've got your couple of questions ready? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Gary, ready to take strike? Yes, I am. Play Langton. Right. Um, in October 2018, I was on field in, in which T20 final? Uh, that would be the women's 2020 final, Australia versus England. Okay, I like that. Somebody's been doing their homework quite clearly. Good yeah. start out the blocks. Two points for you, Gary. Next question, Langton. In fact, in fact, let's talk a little bit about that final. Of course, you've got a lot of finals domestically at home. The nerves leading up to, to such a big event for you and the first one, of course. Uh, surprisingly, I wasn't nervous because uh, I'd been with, uh, with the team or, uh, for maybe, what, a month? So, the umpires, that is, umpires team. So, I'd been with Truon Jure, I'd been with uh, Gregory Bratho throughout the entire tournament. So, when I was appointed with them, I, I was quite at ease because we had done so many games in the tournament together. Absolutely right. Good to hear. We got the next question ready? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll ask, well, they're all easy questions. Um, in which year did I stand in my first One Day International? Uh, 2015? It I was so. 2015. Was. Well done. Do you know which game it was? Uh, do I get a bonus point for this? No, you don't get a bonus <laughs> point. Nice try. Just checking your background info. That's all, Gary. Yeah, well, I do know. It was um, Zim versus Afghanistan, wasn't it? It was absolutely it was, yeah. them versus Afghanistan. Well done. So good start. Four points from you from a possible four in your first two questions. Have you got your questions ready for Langton? I do. Yeah. Gary, before you ask, you should know you're my favorite cricketer. So please make it <laughs> easy. And I never gave you out. <laughs> I don't remember you not giving me out. <laughs> um, right, first one. Um, I played for Zimbabwe in 19 in which World Cup? Let's see. Um, I would say it would have been in 2000 and, 2005, 2006, because you went to England in 2006. So it must have been after that World Cup. So 2006, I'd say. 2006 is the correct answer. Well done. Two points to you. Uh, Gary, how old were you then and where was this World Cup? Um, I was 16 and I was in Sri Lanka. We had a, we had a strong side actually. We had um, Sean Williams, Graham Creamer, uh, Chamo Chibaba, uh Ryan Higgins. Uh, we had a really strong side and we, we actually beat England in, in, our, in our group stages. 
and that that's obviously the only under 19 world cup then you represented Zimbabwe. Yes, yeah. And as Langton said, uh, as soon as I think it was shut off that World Cup, I moved over here, moved over to England. Okay. Second question, ready, Langton? Gary's uh, Gary, asking. sorry. Yeah. I've played 23 test matches for England. How many ODIs? Um, let's see. You have played 16 ODIs. I think, I hope. He has played 16 ODIs. Very well done. And neck and neck at the, at the end of the first round of questions. Gary, you obviously represented England in uh, one day cricket as well as test match cricket. Which format did you prefer and why? Uh, probably test match cricket. I think um, I was more naturally suited for that format, format of the game. Uh, obviously involved in a, in, a, in a World Cup as well for England, but yeah, that didn't go too well out. I prefer to to forget those few months, but um, I love playing Test match cricket, and um, yeah, hopefully I can play again someday. Okay, right. So four points each. Let's move on to the conservation questions that are set out for you, Langton. You will answer these first. Um, a little bit of background on your conservation. Matobo National Park is your favourite. How often do you visit there, and and what do you like about um, it? I've been there, I think, four times. And I just like just the vast space that's there and the uh, mother-child copies that are there. It's just a unique place. And, and, I, and I also like the fact that they've got the most number of uh, black eagles in Zimbabwe there. Right. So, of course, uh, Matopos is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. What is the name of the main camp of Matobo National Park? There is also a dam named the same. Uh, the main camp. Let's see. The dam that I know that's there is Matopos. Um, Lake, well, Lake Matopos. Um, so, uh, I would go Matopos, I guess. I'll give you one more opportunity before I throw it across to Gary. So, ask, ask the question again. What is the name of the main camp of Matobo National Park? there is a dam named the same. Mm. Let me try to think the dams that are there. Nah, I'm not sure. Not got it. Gary, for a bonus point? I haven't got a clue. Haven't got a clue. Right. So, <laughs> no points for your first conservation question. You both remain on four. Let's move on to your next question. Langton, your favorite yeah. animal is the elephant. How yes. tall is a large male elephant at shoulder height? At uh, shoulder height, I, I would say... 50 centimeters each way. So, I will go... Three meters. Absolutely right. It is 3.5 meters. So two points for you, Langton. You move on to six. Two points collected from your conservation questions. Gary, uh, we'll move on to you. Favorite animal is the lion. Matusadona National Park is your favorite. Um, you love it to bits. And of course, Kariba. Um, and your favorite conservationist is David Attenborough. What do you find so special about him? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's obviously uh, been all over the world um, and he's just, just his love for conservation is, is um, really admirable. And, um, you know, I think like everyone, I've seen all his um, programs and um, really taken interest into that. And um, recently, he just had a, well, a few years ago, did a, did a good documentary in Zimbabwe about the, about the wild dogs, which was, uh, if you guys hear, it was brilliant to watch. Right. Let's move on then to your conservation questions. Your favorite animal is the lion. Um, what is the Latin name? Is it Panthera Leo? It is Panthera Leo for two marks. Very, very well done. Six points apiece with one question before the halftime break. Matusadona is your favorite national park. Can you name the organization which the Duke of Sussex is president of? and has recently signed a deal to partner with Zimparks 
in the future management of this specific park. Uh, I can't even hazard a guess there. Okay. Uh, Langton, you want to give it a go? Um, I think it's African parks. It is indeed African parks for a bonus point. Very well done, Langton. So uh, one more point to you. Um, as we go into the halftime break, you just lead, of course, with that bonus point, seven points to six. Viewers, don't go away. We've got a short commercial break and we'll be back with you in just a moment's time. Our wildlife needs help. Tourism to Africa is at an all-time low. You can assist by liking and sharing the conservation games. You can contribute financially by hitting the donate button on the Zambezia.com website. Let's get together and back up the Frontline Conservation Team. Welcome back, everybody. Of course, it's match number 26 of the Conservation Games. We have Langton Rosere slightly in the lead, representing the Buffaloes over Gary Balance, who's uh, representing the Lions by seven points to six. Guys, it's been a very, very competitive so far, and let's hope that we carry on, of course, with this level of competitiveness before we get to the wacky wild. Right, it is segment three, and uh, you're going to be quizzing your opponent about uh, their career. Gary, you will be asking first this time. Questions ready? Yep, got it. All right. Langton, on the 5th of February this year in New Zealand, Hamilton, you umpired a game in which New Zealand beat India. They chased 348 to win. Who was run out in that match? <laughs> well, um, let's see. Uh, it would be that first game, I remember it should have been Colin de Grandom on one, I think. Right. Colin de Grandom on one. And there was another one. So I'll give you one point for Colin de Grandom. Uh, second run out. Do I remember? How many, how many run outs did I send up? Mm, so it was Colin de Grandom. Um, were they Kiwi or, or Indian? That's uh, quite bold of you to ask me whether they were Kiwi or Indian. <laughs> but I will be kind because it's quite hard to remember. I'll, I'll let you know that it was a Kiwi. That's the only other that you get. Um, so, uh, I would think it was Tom Latham. I can't give you that. Oh, okay. I can't give you that. It was uh, Nichols on 78. Oh, I yeah, I thought that. The one mark. Um, that takes you on to eight. But, of course... That tour was your first uh, bilateral series um, as an international umpire. What are the pressures that went with that, especially having to umpire the top team in the world in India? Uh, well, I'll tell you, the first thing that happened was uh, I only got to go two days before the game. So I arrived in New Zealand a day before the game. So the time difference and all that, I was really tired. And when I got there, my luggage was left in Dubai. So I only got it two days later. So I didn't have... Some so what did you wear? I hope you were dressed a little bit better than you will be when you do your Wacky Wild. No, no, I, I, was, I was dressed appropriately. Fortunately, I had my, my, my umpiring kit in my, in my um, uh, carry-on bag. So all I didn't have was my hat. So okay. all I right. think it was good that I was organized that way. <laughs> the pressures involved, well, you know, when you're umpire away from home and um, when you're umpiring teams like New Zealand and India, the best three in, well, they're in the top three. It was quite intense because um, India had won the T20 series and New Zealand wanted to get back at them. So it was quite a, a tightly contested um, series. I but I enjoyed they it were, very much. There were like two ties or something in that series. It was ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Um, must have been, yeah, two ties in the, in the uh, T20 series. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, next question. Oh, you yeah, me. Um, can you name the list of 10 umpires currently on the list of elite panel of ICC umpires? Well, that should be easy, I guess. So there's Bruce, <laughs> there's Bruce Oxenford, 
Uh, let's go by country. Okay, Australia, there's Bruce Oxen Ford, there's um, Rod Tucker, there is, hmm, who's the third Australian on it? Okay, I'll, I'll oh yeah, and um, the third Australian would be Paul Rifle. England, you have uh, Goffy, Michael Goff, you've got uh, Richard Illingworth, Richard Kittlebra, Nigel Long, and Pakistan, you've got Alim Da. Sri Lanka, you've got Kuma Damasena. The West Indies, Trinidad, you've got Joe Wilson. South Africa, you've got Maria Erasmus. Okay, I've got enough names for full points there, Langton. <laughs> Thank you very much. Too easy. Before you start telling us about the rest of the panels of international umpires, <laughs> two points for you. Right. Takes you to 10. Just... Uh, Four points ahead of Gary. Of course, Gary, if you get full marks for this next section, then it'll be a tie going into the wacky wild. Langton, have you got your couple of questions ready? Yes, I do. Uh, because I like you, Gary, I'll ask you very simple questions. Um, so, first question. When you made your maiden, your maiden test century, it was against Sri Lanka at Lords. And the second innings, you scored 104 not out. Of how many balls? Oh. Does it have to be exact? No, it doesn't, Gary. Because I'm such a kind match master, I'll give you 10 balls each way. Okay. Um, 185 balls. That's a very, very good answer. Um, it was actually 185. I mean, 88 if you're going to be on the dot. So uh, I'll give you a couple of points for that. But um, where was this test match, Gary? It was at Lords. And how amazing is it to get your first test match and at Lords? And to be honest, 180 ball, 88 balls in pretty quick time. Yeah, especially for me, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it was amazing. It was a great, great experience. And um, yeah. To get to first first test hundred at Lords and it's an unbelievable um, venue to play cricket anyway. So to get it there was was even extra special. And how many do you have in total? Four. Does it rank as as one of the top? Yeah, I think it's it's like I said just now because it was the first one and at Lords. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably my best one and, and my favourite. Okay. All right, Langton. When you were sixteen, you took part in the Under Nineteen World Cup representing Zimbabwe. Your team topped the table in the pool stages, beating all opposition, including England. In your pool, um, let's see. In your pool was Ireland, who came last in the pool. What did, Zimbab uh, what did Zimbabwe, led by Sean Williams, bowl Ireland, led by Owen Morgan, out for in that match? Sorry, what was that? What, how many did Sean Williams get? No, so um, basically, what did Zimbabwe ball out Ireland for in that match? In four, yeah. Right, okay. Four. Um, I know we batted first. I don't know how many we got, and then we, we bowled them out quite cheaply, but what's, what's the leeway here? How many, how many runs out of the way, do you know? Well, this is quite a standout you know, result. And, and I thought that you're going to hit it straight on the head. I shouldn't be giving you any leeway, Gary, but I will give you, I'll give you three runs either side. Three, wow. Mm, I'm, I'm just going to go, have to go with 100. It's 97. You get two points for that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a guess. <laughs> Proper guess that. So, um, Gary, at the end of segment three, you brought yourself right up to speed. You're both on 10 points, which uh, obviously means that uh, the wild and wacky is going to decide the winner of this game. Now, we're we going to the super over. We are going to the super over, which we've just been talking about, actually, Langton. Yeah. Um, Gary, you've just been asking, so it'll be your choice of card. I've got five. From my right to my left, there's one, two, three, four, and five. Take your pick. Number one. Number one. <laughs> Elephant, ear, flap, and charge. Can I just 
Gary, can I move this chair out of the way? Absolutely, please do whatever you need to. This is for the game. For the game. And how, how many points? How many points um, can you, you can get? Get for a this? maximum of five, Gary. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh... Oh! <laughs> you could have gone That's a bit longer, Gary. I'll give you two for that. <laughs> I'll give you two for that. Langton, four <laughs> cards remain. Right. Um, so if there's four cards remaining, I'll go for the boundaries and pick card number four. You're going to pick card number four. Hmm. Hippo, okay. Yawn, and Grunt. This okay. is for the game. Okay, I probably need to get ready for this. Put this on the side. And... <laughs> nice thoughts. <laughs> I like... <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear you. Right. Hmm. So, I don't know... Props for this, but let's see. <laughs> you know that hippos <laughs> don't wear socks, right? Yeah, that, that's why I'm showing you the socks. <laughs> and I'll start by doing the, the little ear flap that they do. Okay. <laughs> so here I come. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Langton, I think, I think you have just outdone Gary with that one. I'll give you three marks for that. Very, Thanks, very Tito. well done. Langton, you end up then on 13. Uh, Gary on 12. Guys, thank you very much for taking time to be part of the Conservation Games, raising awareness on conservation in the Zambezia region, and of course, trying to raise some funding for those on the front lines to be able to carry out their duties as well as they can. Really well competed today. Congratulations then to the Buffaloes for taking that one by one point over the Lions. Very quickly before we go, guys, can I just ask each of you to give me a parting word on conservation? You first, Gary. I was going to say, when I go, surely. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, this, this whole initiative um, for the Zambezi uh, Conservation is just, just outstanding. And there's... It's brilliant that there's so many people from all over the world who, who've got involved and um, yeah, it's, it's great to see and, and hopefully it can, it can just keep growing and growing. Langton? Um, I will start by thanking Gary Balance here for donating a shirt to the Buffaloes <laughs> and to Luke and to Robin, I'll say it's quite a great initiative that they started and I hope it catches on and I hope um, like me, a lot of people will learn more about conservation and they will do their part as well in conserving these wild, wildlife areas for these animals. Right, guys, thanks a lot. Remember, please, those of you at home watching and following the Conservation Games, it is www.zambesia.com. That's the website. When you have a moment, go on there. There is uh, tons of work being done in the front lines by the uh, Conservation Alliance of Zambezia to uh, educate people on conservation and as well as try and raise funds to ensure that uh, conservation is well looked after in the Zambezia region. So when you get a moment, please do uh, take some time and go and take a look at the website. That was match 26 then, and uh, Langton Rosaria representing the Buffaloes, just pipping uh, Gary Balance, England Cricket International, representing the Lions by one point, 13 to 12. It's been wonderful having you along with us again until it is match 27 of the Conservation Games. Stay well, keep safe, and we'll see you then.